Hi guys, it's Mac and Pussy here and we're back with another song reaction and today we're going to be doing Dimash Kundai Bergen with his version of My Heart Will Go On. I received some criticisms in my last Dimash video. I'll be honest, I took a little personally because I felt like I had been very positive during that reaction and there's a lot of backlash. I'm going to attempt to do this video without swearing. I make no promises, I swear a lot in my day to day life but I will try my best to not swear. I made a joke the last time about how he must have been castrated to be able to hit those high notes. I would like it noted that was just a flippant joke but I apologise because people took it seriously and that was not the intention. So I will not make any jokes about Dimash's performance in this video. There will be no swearing, there will be no jokes. Well, here's what I'm going to say. I don't like the Celine Dion version of this song, but it is a good song for me to be able to judge Dimash because I know the song already. It's in English. I know how it's supposed to sound, so I can then see if he gets across the emotion of the song. So I don't know why I've picked this song. <laughs> I've made a mistake straight away. Sorry, that was a joke. That is the last joke. That is a lot. Let you know what. Let's just let's just go. bass tone there is much much stronger than it was in the first reaction that I did which I think was possibly Stranger. He's hitting those lower notes much much stronger, much smoother and with a nicer tone than he was before. It's a testament to the practice that he's put in and his dedication. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. He hasn't done anything particularly spectacular to comment on. And the song is the song. The song's fine. The song is a perfectly good pop song. My problem was when it came out and it was tied in with Titanic. It was so in your face for such an amount of time. And it was so hard to get away from. It was so overbearing. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't a joke. No, it was genuinely overbearing. I never really got the appeal of the song to the extent of what, it, to the extent of the recognition that it got. Like it was a fine, perfectly good song, but the way that everybody went crazy for it, and also went crazy for Titanic the film, I just never really understood. Titanic's a fine film. It's fine. It's not the best film ever made. It's not even close. It's not even in the top like 100. But everybody went wild for it, and I still don't understand why. Which then I think the reaction to Titanic the film then sullied my reaction to My Heart Will Go On the song. Hence, my reticence towards having to listen to it again. 
but I'm doing it because I know Dimashio put in a good performance and I wanted to see what that would sound like. Which is my way of saying, I have not deliberately picked this song because I don't like it and I want to diss Dimash in any way. I picked this song because I'm very familiar with it and I wanted to see what Dimash did with it. You can kind of tell that this is the register that he's actually kind of most comfortable in because he's doing little runs and he has got like a little bit of like a little bit of a warble going on. So you can tell he's more comfortable in this area that he can kind of experiment and play about a little more than he was doing in the lower registers. Just an observation. I suspect now he's about to like bring in the big guns and give it proper kind of oomph. And in that regard, the song's structured very similarly to Grace by Jeff Buckley, where it's a repetitious series of segments where each time it gets more and more kind of bigger and bigger until at the end it's just unhinged. If you guys haven't heard Jeff Buckley's version of Grace, Mm. You absolutely 100% should. It is incredible. Yeah, that was pretty decent. 
I do think the Celine Dion version was better. I've been Mark Abusi. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.